began to multiply on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they choose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be one hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them, these were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. Now the question is, who are the sons of God in this passage? It is extremely, and I emphasize ex extremely, extremely, unlikely that the sons of God mentioned here are angels who sinned by marrying human women. There are several things against that kind of interpretation. We'll look at them in turn. First, angels are non-material beings. They're spirits. Second, Jesus himself said that angels do not marry. He said that in Matthew 22, verse 30. Third, there is nothing nothing whatsoever in this context that suggests or even hints at the idea that the sons of God are angels. In Job 1 and 2, which you find later in the Bible, you do have the phrase sons of God, and there the context makes it very clear that it's referring to angels. But that's not what's going on here in Genesis chapter 6. If you want to know more about context, I'm going to post a link to my video about biblical context in the description below. Fourth, in Deuteronomy 14 verse 1, you have this phrase, You are the sons of the Lord your God. Now this is a reference to the people of God, the people that are living righteously with God as their father. And that's what's going on here in Genesis 6. Finally, the overall larger context and the purpose of the narrative traces a parallel development of the godly line of Seth, son of Adam, and the ungodly descendants of the rest of Adam's descendants. Now, Genesis 4, 26 says, at that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. Therefore, sons of God in Genesis 6, especially verses 2 and verse 4, are men who are righteous in their imitation of their heavenly father. And the daughters of men are the ungodly women whom they marry. It's meant to be a contrast. It's meant to draw a distinction for what comes later. I hope that answers some of your questions. I hope that clears some things up, but most of all, I pray that you have a wonderful day in Christ Jesus. Do you want to go for a walk? You can hold my hand, we can laugh and talk.